I was born in Yemen, and I just want to say that the people who live there are real human people, just like you and me, who through no fault of their own find themselves in the middle of this hellish situation. It's got so bad now that Yemen is often described as the worst place on earth to be a child. I'll let that sink in for a moment. Children are always the worst affected by war. When the fighting starts, normal life for kids stops. Food stops, school stops, home life stops. Sanitation, playtime, safety, freedom. It all just stops. This is Rahud, an incredibly brave little girl who wanted to share her story. <laughs> When fighting broke out in their village, Rahud and her family fled in fear. It's almost impossible to imagine the sorts of things that this little girl has already witnessed. And she is just one of millions who have had their childhoods devastated by this deadly war. Children need stability. They need the chance to grow in a safe place without fear. In Yemen right now, that is incredibly tough. But problems like this are why UNICEF exists. <laughs> UNICEF are making sure that children like Rahud all over Yemen are still getting an education and for a few hours each day can escape the horror of living through a war. <laughs> Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to live in a world where children talk about bullets being fired at them like it's normal. That's not a good world. I don't want children feeling scared and unsafe. We can't ignore it. We must not ignore it. We can come together and try and make things a little bit better for them. <laughs> 